person who is coming with an LGBTQ uh, identity comes from a different worldview. And so it's kind of getting ready to uh, speak elements of God's truth to them, but pray up and have your spiritual um, battlement, your, you know, the helmet of salvation, the belt of truth and all the rest that mm -hmm. Ephesians 6 recommend, put that on. Um, be ready to, um, you know, preparation of the gospel of peace. That's a powerful weapon. Um, and pray. Uh, really important to pray before speaking because we can say things that can stick in someone's mind for an awful long time, especially if, unfortunately, there's something that offend a person unnecessarily. I mean, you know, the hard word from a parent to a child or a spouse to another spouse or a friend to a friend can sometimes be very difficult to undo. And so it's really important to put on the mindset of Jesus and the heart of God before going into a conversation. Um, knowing that someone who's LGBTQ identified starts with an element of uh, hyper sensing of rejection and uh, judgment. And so they're expecting, they may feel personal rejection already in general or shame. Um, and so shame isn't always a good thing. Shame, shame meaning you feel that you are a bad person as opposed to uh, that you've done something wrong. That's the difference um, uh, that we'd want to avoid. You don't want to provoke them into going further in the direction they're going, but actually woo them with the love of Jesus. And so the important part is to pray first and be ready personally um, and that's yeah. really important because we're talking about spiritual warfare here in a situation where the media, the gay activists in the media for the last 50 years have been telling everybody that you and I hate homosexuals. Right. So that's really the first order of business, isn't it, to right. express love, love to them. Yes. And disagreement is not hate. And yet that's what's become the norm of belief system in the U.S.